right, guys, RC here. We're back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football Season 8, Episode 3 with the Dallas Cowboys. So we are off to a 4-2 and two start, 3-1 and one at home, 1-1 one and one at home, on the road, 4-1 and one in the conference, and 3-1 and one in the division. Uh, so real quick, before we go any further, today is, what is today? I don't know. What is today? Today is the 15th. All right. So today is the 15th of December. This is going to go up the 16th or 17th. That gives us about a week left in the contest. So if you have not entered for the free game giveaway, we are giving away a free copy of this game, Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. Uh, I just went through every video starting at Season 7, Episode 1. I went through every comment that was made. Uh, there were two new entrants uh, yesterday. So real quick, let's pull that up. So here's my entry list. So right now we have 10 entrants. Uh, Ian Banks, J.J. Hendricks, The Custard Prophet, William Ashman, Ant MF, Tom T, Dulio 05, John Hallquist, Joe Knight, and Andrew Kestel. I'm going to go with Kestel. Uh, so this is the date that the comment was posted, uh, the episode it was posted in, and the little X is just the confirmation I was making sure everybody was on there. So uh, if your name is not on there, if your name is not on this list, you're not entered in the contest. If you've made a comment and I overlooked it, please let me know. If you haven't made a comment in one of the uh, correct episodes, please do so. To get entered don't forget we will be doing the drawing on christmas eve the evening of december 24th and that will be uh, the deadline is 6 p.m central standard time that's uh texas time in the united states uh, i believe it's uh that would be midnight london time so i think it's six hours ahead london time uh, is what i believe uh at least in Yorkshire, because uh, I know Leeds is six hours ahead when they start their matches. So if your name's not on here, please get entered if you want to have a chance to win this game. So just to recap, these are the 10 people currently registered for the giveaway. If your name is not on this list, you cannot win. If I have overlooked your name, please let me know. And if you want to get on the list, all you got to do is give a, give a thumbs up on a video and leave a comment, but it has to be one of the Draft Day Sports videos starting at Season 7, Episode 1, and ending on December 24th at 6 p.m. All right, so with that done, let's move on to the important stuff. I mean, that's important, but that's a week away. Let's get into this. We're in the middle of the season, Season 8, with the Cowboys. Uh, four and two, so let's get to it. Let's check out our team news. So McDowell, our tackle, a torn bicep muscle, he's out two to four weeks. Fields, a running back, broken leg, he's out two to four more weeks. And Gathers, torn ACL, that was at the very beginning of the season. Uh, yeah, in week one, yeah, that happened in week one, and he's out six to eight more weeks. So he's likely done for the season. I did not put him on IR just in case he could come back for playoffs. Playoffs! All right, so let's get into it. We are week seven. So this, this episode, we're going to go through week 12. So let's get to it. We'll sim through. All right, we're playing uh, at Seattle this week. And a 20 to 17 victory. That's a big win going up to Seattle, the 12th man. I'm liking that. Dak Prescott with 30 seconds left in the game hits Micah Temple for a 15 yard strike. Chris Boswell adds the extra point, and we hold on for the 20 to 17 comeback victory. That's huge. Prescott, 30 out of 44, 330 yards, one touchdown. Ellsworth only 2.7 yards on the ground, one touchdown. Uh, Vance, 8 for 125. Ship, 7 for 103. So we've got our wide receivers firing on all cylinders. Uh, let's check our emails. And 
nothing there we got some complainers that's okay you know there's always going to be complainers and if the second or third string quarterback is complaining then tough shit uh let's see anything going on here one to two weeks you know what we need to check real quick because i contracts forgot to look all right, so we're going to have to make some contract extensions. Let's do a few of these real quick. All right, so we're at $54 million for next year. So what starters do we want to retain? Well, Arrington, a press corner. He's been a three-year starter. 98 tackles, so he's not Deion Sanders. He doesn't mind getting lowering his shoulder and getting in there to make a stop. Not much in the way of interceptions. Only one interception. Catches allowed. So he's allowed 97 catches out of 159. 90 out of 142. 40 out of 67. Uh, you know, I don't know that that's very good. Where's his agility? Yeah, he's, he's not the most agile person. Hmm. Still, he is a starter. He's looking for $7.2 million a year. Holy crap. Well, I'm going to call him a starter. He's making 6-2. We'll raise him to 7-2. All right, we'll do that. Don't like doing that. That's a lot of money. That's paying him more than our quarterback. I'm really leery of that. All right, Lyle Collins. He has not started every game this year, but he has been a seven-year starter for us. He's making 4.9, so slight pay cut for two more years. We'll do that. All right, Chubb, linebacker. He was a great free agent pickup, wasn't he? So he hasn't started every game. I don't think he's been injured, so he might be starting to drift downward, but still... He was a really good pickup for us. He's making 2.9. He wants a slight raise. Let's go ahead and give him a three-year deal. Slightly front heavy. And Gathers. Gathers is 35. We're going to let him go. Smith is 36. Is he? But he's still starting every game. Wow. No sacks allowed. He's allowed two sacks in his career. What's he want? Actually, a pretty good pay cut. Um, I'm going to drop that to two years. We'll submit that. And Reuter, 770000 I like that. Five years, 770. He's come off his demands. That's a huge pay cut. We will go ahead and put that in. Now, the problem is, again, one thing if I could plead with Brooks and Gary to make a change, you got to show us what we offered these people before because it's impossible to remember. I mean, and nobody plays a game anymore where you write down everything those days i mean i used to do that back in the 70s and 80s where i i wrote notes and you know i had notebooks for every game i played no you don't you don't do that anymore right all right let's get to this we're playing at home against detroit in week eight at home oh my god 38 23 they just blew us out 28-16 at the half. Four interceptions for Prescott. Yeah, he was playing from behind. So let's see. A pick six. Great. Another pick six. Great. So Prescott, three. he actually threw five touchdowns, right? Just two to the other team. No. Yeah, two to the other team. Two of his four interceptions, pick sixes. Not so good. We actually averaged over four yards a carry, so that's positive. Bad thing is we only had 10 carries for the game. <sighs> All right. So we got some complainers. All right. Arrington signed the contract. Collins signed the contract. 
All right, Reuter wants more money. Of course he does. All right, where's Reuter at? Reuter's here. Didn't it say he wanted seven? He it said he wanted seven. Now he now he wants less. All right, so if I raise it to eight twenty and cut it to four years, will he take that? We'll see. Nice. Right, so we've still got a couple of offers out. Uh, let's see. Team news. Anything going on? All right, McDowell is up to doubtful, and everybody else is getting close. All right, we're heading. Oh, this is the off week. All right, so we have an off week here in week nine. That's good. All right. Not ready. Tyron Smith, Joseph Reuter. Now he wants more money again. So I gave him what he asked for. Wanted more money. Raised what he wanted by $100,000 a year, what he wanted. And he's still unhappy. I've got all kind of spam calls coming in here. Now, see, now it went, that's actually less. So if we offer him eight, well, you know what? Let's go up to nine. We'll do nine, ten. If he doesn't take that, I think I'm going to let him. I, I need, well, let's see. Where's Oaks? Where is. My other quarterback. All right, there's Reuter. Where there there he is. All right, so he's got two years left. All right, or one year left. So yeah, I mean that's that's probably my quarterback of the future. So if he doesn't sign, uh, we're gonna probably let him go. All right, we are back for another home game against the Chargers, the Los Angeles Chargers. I think that's a travesty. But not my place to make that call. And we lose 27-22. They must have been wearing the powder blue uniform since we were wearing the home whites. And we are now from 5-2 and two to 5-4. and four. Prescott, two more interceptions. He does hit ship for 78 yards. Tyrod Taylor is still playing. Holy crap. How old is that dude? 37. Well, I mean, that's not, you know, I mean, it's not 42, right? Prescott for 62 yards. Ah, 1.7 yards a carry. That's horrific. Just horrific. All right. Uh, losing. Well, they lost two in a row. All right. So we've got a couple of guys not making decisions yet. Let's take a quick look at the standings. So we fall into second place in the division, losing two in a row. Not good, not good. Three and three at home. That's horrible. All right. Let's go back in. Let's go take a quick look at our depth chart. Do I give Oaks a start? Do I? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. All right, we're just gonna. We're, I just let the head coach make the call on the on the offensive depth chart. All right, we're at home against New Orleans in Week Eleven. Thirty to seventeen. All right, Prescott with two touchdowns, no interceptions. That's good. And Ellsworth, well, 3-3 three, three, and 3-8. Three, 21 carries for 70 yards and a touchdown. I could probably live with that, taking a little bit of pressure off of Prescott. 8 for 123. Vance has fallen off right there. Um, just a reminder, I did get a response. I think I mentioned this last episode, but you can be, unless you're playing in multiplayer or... Sand, I don't know, did he call it sandbox mode? Hold on, I want to give you guys the right information. I don't want to be putting out fake news here, you know? Yes, all right, here it is. So my, my original post was, can you be fired in this game? And they said, as long as you're not in multiplayer or sandbox mode, then yes. So we could get fired. We could get fired. 
Um, but we win this one. We win this one. All right. Emails. Chubb is still looking. Mr. Reuter is still looking. All right. Team news. All right. So the running back is now probable. Gathers has a torn ACL. He's doubtful. The other player is now back. Uh, who was that? McDowell is now healthy. So let's pop back into the depth chart. And let's redo that. And I'm going to let the head coach make this decision too. You know? All right. Week 12, final week of the sim. Philadelphia on the road. Oh, God, I hate losing to the Eagles. 28-26, 13 fourth quarter points, not enough. Deshaun Watson is now playing for the Eagles. That's a scary thought. Wow. So they were up 28-13. We went for two to tie it with 25 seconds left. Three touchdowns. Look at Deshaun. How old is he now? 31. Still only 31 years old, eight years from now. Holy shit. Look at that. What a game. Yeah, the Cats found something to tear up. 27 out of 41, 324 yards, three touchdowns. Ellsworth, 16 for 46. The run game, man. The run game blows. Blows. So, that's the end of week 12. So, let's do a little bit of wrap-up. But, real quick, I want to kind of talk about um, strategy. Is that what I want? Yeah. All right. So, you can go in and you can change game plans. You can create a playbook, a game plan. Um I am just going with conservative balanced. Yeah, let's let's uh let's go there. I wonder if I have to save. Oh yeah, I do. Let's let's save that. Uh John, yeah, let me let my uh Okay, I hadn't changed that. My offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator should be should be calling, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Primary receiver, not set. Committee, mixed tight ends, draws. A lot of draws. Interesting. All right. So that'll change for next uh, next episode. All right. Um, Bradley Chubb signs. He's still blowing us off. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to make some other offers, but uh, let's go ahead and check our standings. All right, so we've got the Bears at 8-3. and three. They've got a one-game lead on the Packers. The Saints at 8-3 and three with a two-game advantage on the Falcons. We're 6-5, and five, tied with the Eagles, and one game behind the Giants. And 6-5 and five for the Niners. So at 6-5, and five, we are in a three horse race for the second wild card spot. So we would actually be in right now, but there's three other teams at 6 and 5 as well. So we need to we need to really pick things up here. Over in the AFC, the Steelers and the Ravens are running away with the North, but uh they're fighting it out for that that title there. Jaguars, Titans, and Colts all at seven and four. Texans at five and six. I guess losing to Sean Watson causes a problem. Patriots, even after Tom Brady's been retired for several years, they are back up atop the AFC East. Buffalo, Jets, and Dolphins all below 500. Doesn't that look just like real life? And the Oakland Raiders at 8-3, and three, they've got a four-game advantage on the entire rest of the AFC West. So that is scary there. Uh, let's see. Do we have a schedule right there? All right, so we finish off with uh, the Yucks, the G-Men, the Raiders, the Chiefs, and the Falcons. And I believe the Falcons are one of those teams that we are fighting it out with for that wild card spot. 
we need to beat the Giants to have probably have a shot at the at the uh, division title. Ah, oh, boy. So let's see. We were one and zero, two and zero, three and zero, three and one, four and one, four and two, five and two, five and three, five and four, six and four, six and five. Yeah, just ugh. no consistency, no consistency. All right, guys, we'll hit that like button, make a comment. Don't forget to get entered into the contest for the free game giveaway on Christmas Eve. I will uh, record that live. We will use a random number generator, and then I will get the uh, winner's information. Uh, I will reach out to the winner, and uh, and then I will uh, pass their information on to uh, Wolverine Studios and get you guys together to get your copy of the game. So I uh, hope you're looking forward to it. Uh, real quick, I guess, we still have the number one scoring offense, number one yardage, and passing offense. Rushing, we are 29th, so we, we are not worst in the league anymore, but we're right there. Uh, we're 14th in scoring defense. We are 7th in yardage defense. Uh, we are second against the pass, but we are 20th against the run. So, again, that's, that's some issues with our D-line, I think. But um, in between episodes here, I will go in, I will finish up contracts, and uh, we've got a lot of other guys to look at and see if we want to keep, uh, keep them on the roster. So, guys, thank you so much for checking it out, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.